My new book is Edge of Eternity. It's the third book in my trilogy about the 20th century. The first book, Fall of Giants, was about the First World War, Winter of the World about World War II, and Edge of Eternity is about the Cold War. At the beginning of the story, the grandchildren of my German family are living in Berlin, in the house where the family has lived all through the first two books. When one day in August 1961, a wall is built across the middle of the city, and Rebecca and Wally and Lily are on the wrong side of the wall. Their house is in East Berlin, and they're trapped, and they can't get out. And that wall symbolizes the way in the last half of the 20th century, the world was divided in two. The granddaughter of my Russian family is a reporter for a Russian news agency, and she's in Cuba at the time of the Cuban Missile Crisis. And I remember this very vividly, although I was only a kid. We all went to sleep at night knowing that we might never wake up. Nuclear war between the Soviet Union and the United States might break out at any second, and we might all be destroyed in a great flash and a bang. A lot of young people in those days invested their hopes in characters such as Robert Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy, and Martin Luther King, who were then assassinated, wiped out by a bullet. And the shock and disappointment of that was traumatic. And then finally, towards the end of Edge of Eternity, a group of people in the Kremlin who are reformers and who want to change the Soviet Union start, after, after decades of defeat, they start actually to make progress. And the Soviet Union starts to change. And the rest of us can't believe that it's really happening. And the end of the book, that terrible wall which was built at the beginning, that wall that symbolizes the division of the world into two armed camps, is suddenly demolished and people surge across from one side to the other, families are reunited and the Cold War is over.